Hello everyone, welcome back to 3D CAD tutorials. Today we will uh, go with a simple model of extrude, extrude cut and uh, rib option. So now we are having a very simple model. Here we are having a three features. One is extrude, we can take it as extrude and another two as ribs and this one will the extrude cut so we are going to do first one is extrude both extrude both and second one is rib or it may be third one so then fourth one, uh, third one will be extrude cut, extrude cut, so this will be extrude cut. So these are all the three, we are going to model in a very simple manner. So let us go to solid works, they have given 75 millimeters, 54 millimeters, all parameters are in all dimensions are in millimeters so no need to uh, get confused with this one you can refer this uh, sketch for uh, modeling as well so we are moving to solidworks so once we move to solidworks here we are getting as usual the graphical window I am selecting the right plane select sketch then select line and draw a rough sketch and draw a rough sketch horizontal and as vertical line one more horizontal line one more vertical line horizontal line then vertical line this will be a closed contour we can now use this one for any feature these are all the features now activated we can use for extrude revolve and sweep commands so now I have to give the dimensions for this sketch to fully define this sketch. So go to smart dimensions, select this one, this one is having, they have provided 75 millimeters, this 75 millimeters say ok then this one is 35 millimeters then horizontal line is 20 millimeters say ok then select this line if, if, if we have to provide any one dimension the length of this line or the this line uh, this line so now what I will do I will provide this dimension this is 12 millimeters this is 12 millimeters okay so this is the sketch let us just compare with the given sketch so the given sketch is like this the 75 millimeters, 35 millimeters, 20 millimeters and 12 mi millimeters. So we have done this uh, same dimensioning here 75, 35, 20 and 12. Now I am going to feature extrude I am using the mid plane as I told earlier explained in the early exercise also it will be very useful for us to align the other feature which is symmetric in this model so I am giving this model they have provided 54 millimeters this is 54 millimeters I am telling ok click ok then now the remaining two of features are the remaining this rib and the extrude cut this rib and the extrude cut we can do any uh, select uh, any feature for second operation 
I will select the extrude cut for the second operation. Here also we can select this face also to draw a sketch or we can use the this face or this face. There are two options. I will select this one because as the sketch is very clear from the top view, I am selecting sketch, enter to sketch mode, draw a rectangle, corner rectangle and as per the given dimension this is 14 and this is 12 and from the edge it is 20 so I am just giving the dimension this is 14 millimeters 14 millimeters and this is 12 millimeters and from the edge it is having 20 millimeters so okay so like this also we can provide if they are if they missed out this dimension no need to worry if they missed out this means this sketch or this feature will be at center that time you can if they are not provide this 20 millimeters not provide if you want to align this to center select the center point of this line and the ed edge center point midpoint and then it's automatically aligned so th by this way also you can constrain this one but in our case they have already provided the dimension it's better to go with that one so now we are providing the dimension from here to here it's 20 millimeters so I think it's very clear for you let us view from a isometric view and just compare with the given sketch this is the 14 20 12 14 millimeters 20 millimeters and 12 millimeters we are moving to sketch 14 millimeters 12 millimeters and 20 millimeters now as per these this is a throat through all we have to cut this one go to features select extrude cut and just to say through all and say click OK. The given the required feature is already done came to the component so now we have to complete the third feature the third feature as per the part is the rib command rib we have to provide the ribs so we, we can uh, we can do this one also in two ways one is rib another is we can just draw a sketch in triangular way and we can just extrude extrude this one uh, two times that's also possible but the best method is to just draw a sketch on this side this is from here to here draw a single line in an, uh, some inclination it is neither a horizontal or nor a vertical line so now what I have to do I have to give the proper dimension to this one the rib will start from the 15 millimeters from this edge and from top it will start from 5 millimeters 5 millimeters so here the two dimensions are give, uh, enough to constrain the sketch there is no need to provide the length of this one if it starts from here and if it ends from he ends here the automatically it will the length will be predefined this will be if you want this is this is for only for reference I am just measuring 43.86 millimeters so what I have to do if it, I will just compare this sketch with I will just compare this sketch with the given sketch so you see you can see this one so this is 5 and this is 15 ok no issue now what I have to do I have to go to features and select rib the rib it is uh, both the sides it is coming but as per uh, we required as the material not this side this is natural required 
one side first side or second side we will select second side and the thickness of the rib is 14 millimeters thickness of the rib is 14 millimeters and we will just say ok we say ok the model will be updated so here we can uh, just uh, assume in a such a way the given dimensions of the rib is 5 millimeters from top and 15 millimeters from the front so suppose if some next update or next mo mo uh, while updating a model suppose if we change this to 10 and if we change this to 2 or 3 or 10 or any other dimension automatically other rib if both ribs are equal then how to do this so we can draw a sketch on this plane and what we did for this rib same thing we can carry forward no issue my concern is that one if the rib inclination has changed then how it will reflect in the second feature so what I am using I will use the right and right plane and I will just going to mirror this feature I, I am mirroring this feature with respect to right plane as I extruded this part which is symmetric to this right plane no need to worry from the <coughs> right plane both the ribs will be symmetric that means equidistance from the center plane so I will select this feature this feature has to be mirrored so I will say ok so why what is the advantage in this one means so suppose if you go here if you change I wantedly I am changing this one to 10 millimeters I will say ok just come out of sketch automatically it will rebuild control 7 I will just measure the other feature from here to this line you can see this one 10 millimeters this is 10 millimeters so whatever you updated in this sketch it will automatically update so we have to follow some easiest method while doing a model I think you, you like this uh, uh, modeling technique so please like share and subscribe if there is any questions please write down on comments uh, so thanks for watching we will come up with a new videos thank you